Greetings prospectors, today we're going to talk about the miracle over Neptune. By now you guys would have had time to play the event, but what really is the miracle over Neptune? Well, it was a rescue operation on a doomed space station orbiting over Neptune. In the early days of space exploration itself. The event overall became known as the miracle over Neptune, with hundreds of stories told to commemorate and remember what happened that day. At the beginning of early space travel, Earth set out to expand with space stations and settlements on other planets, and amongst one of these space stations were the Aurora Station, orbiting over Neptune. Aurora Station was a bustling with over thousands of people living the simple spacer life, industrializing the gas giant it was orbiting, acting as a refueling station and a transportation hub. It was in its glory days, by all means, a successful operation. But all of this changed when the Earth-like system of Antares was discovered. This led to the nations and the corporate world focusing on colonizing it as fast as possible, and no longer supporting their older stations. As Aurora Station's business started to fade, the people living there distanced themselves from Earth and declared Aurora Station independent. As the 26,000 of people inside, Aurora Station existed only for their own survival now. Only a few years into their new independence, disaster struck when a cluster of meteoroids avoided its predicted impact on Neptune and instead slingshot past the Aurora Station itself. While such an event on Earth would just be pretty lights in the sky, for a space station without shields or atmosphere around it, meteors would be devastating. Power lost, life support lost, Navigations lost, and communications gone, and thousands of lives lost in an instant. With the station now placed in a decaying orbit, with no one watching out for Aurora Station and its nearby communication satellites destroyed, the 19,000 surviving souls on board knew they were all doomed. They just didn't know how their lives would come to an end either by asphyxiation from lack of oxygen, frozen from the lack of temperature control, or starved from the lack of resources, or even burned as the station would eventually crash towards Neptune itself. In the first chaotic hours that followed, one of the surviving groups managed to get into a docking bay. In an attempt to escape the station itself, Sadly, the bay was destroyed, but one of the ships locked inside was still functioning. So a distress signal was sent from a small maintenance ship. A ship called the Starlight Song picked up the signal and attempted to contact Aurora Station. The response they got was pure silence. The Starlight Song crew understood that the situation was dire. Even though their obligation was only to relay the signal further, their crew decided to dump all non-essential cargo into space and set course towards the Aurora station. Despite the fact that they could lose their jobs or even be criminally charged for this action. When they arrived at the station, the Starlight ship crew realized that it was doomed. Large chunks of the station was missing. The parts that was still there had holes in them letting the remaining atmosphere inside the station slowly seep out into space. Only small parts of the station still seem to have power. Now, in contact with some of the survivors of the Aurora station, the crew members of the Starlight Song began to physically carry oxygen tanks to the few airlocks that were still intact and began repairs on the power and life support systems. The Aurora Station now had hope, and it is clearly displayed on one of the drawings recovered from one of the youngest survivors. The crew of the Starlight Song worked to exhaustion, 
and after 38 hours of non-stop work and the tragedy of losing two of its own members, they and those inside of the station were forced to accept that the situation was hopeless. While the Starlight Song had saved thousands with their repairs and supplies, they were only delaying the inevitable. With no more oxygen to give or supplies left, and all possible repairs made, they could not alone save the station. All within would perish within a handful of days. In a last resort effort, the Starlight crew began transporting children onto their ship. Only a hundred people could fit. Although it was a big ship, it was never meant to transport live cargo. However, all was not yet lost. Unknown to the Aurora station, the Starlight Song had been transmitting their work the entire time and it had been spread like a wildfire to the people of Earth even. The nations were urged by their citizens to act. Even the greedy corporate world agreed that something had to be done, albeit many figured it was only for a publicity stunt. Eventually, the greatest fleet for many decades to come assembled, with the intent to save the people from the Aurora station. Ship after ship arrived, and began evacuating the people of the Aurora Station, and thanks to the selfless actions of the Starlight Song crew members, the remaining people of Aurora Station was saved by the jointed operations of Earth. And that is the story of the miracle over Neptune. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe for more content and if you guys want to see more lore about the cycle, feel free to tell me in the comment section below because, you know, then I know if you guys actually want to see this or not. I think there's a lot more out there to be discovered and I would love to do so. But until next time, prospectors, don't get into pod 12.